Hallelujah. Hello there, wonderful people. God bless you. Happy 222, happy February 22nd. This is Dr. Pastor Ben Lemire. I'm happy to see you today. We are in our new space, in a new office space, so a lot of work to do here. Comment below where you're watching from. Amen. Who's ready for the winds of revival, the winds and the waves of revival? Amen. So comment below where you are watching from, friends, so I could give you a shout out and say hello. Amen. I'm very excited that in the next two weeks or so, this place is going to be built out. We're going to be doing a lot more broadcasting, great production work, a lot more work, really, to spread the gospel, the good news, to prophesy, to release the prophetic word of the Lord to the nations. But friends, it's 222. It's a very important prophetic day. And I want you to comment below where you are watching from. Give us some hearts and likes. Share this on your wall. And let me know if you see or hear me clearly. Amen. Let me know. I know there's the winds are blowing here in Southern California. The winds are blowing greatly. Praise God. But comment below if you see me and hear me clearly and well. Amen. But I want to talk to you about every prophetic word coming to pass. This is a season of suddenlies. This is a season where the Spirit of God is releasing suddenlies upon the body of Christ. Amen. I see Nigeria here. Costa Mesa. Glory to God. Natalie, good to see you. From India, Vermont. Good to see you, Brian. San Diego, Chicago. Hey, about about Canberra, Australia. I went there once. Jesus. Good to see you, Amy. Christine F. Arkansas, child of most high. Three in a day for me, I know. I did an Instagram live earlier as well. Comment below if you see and hear me well. Thank you, Providence Alana. Bishop, California. Praying for the build-off. Thank you very much. Definitely going to take time meeting with <laughs> many contractors. Many, many, many. India in the house. Thank you. Thank you, Denise. From the UAE, God bless you. We miss the UAE. Sabarabhoshata. OK City, God bless you. Amen. Well, friends, in a couple of hours, I'm going to be at church at Open Heavens World, and we're going to have an extended prayer service. It's going to be wonderful. It's going to be very powerful. The Spirit of God visited us at the end of the service on Sunday with travail and intercession. And who here knows that it's the spirit of prayer and intercession that proceeds revival, which means before the movement of Jesus came was the movement of John the Baptist. And John the Baptist prepared the people in a repentance and a turning away of sin and a washing and a baptizing of water. And that prepared the people for a Jesus move, a move of miracles, a move of the supernatural, a move of salvation. So we are in the days of preparation. So uh, revival, prayer precedes revival. It goes before moves of God. But today's 222. So I want to prophesy over you because I believe there's spirits. The spirit of God is moving. There's winds of change, ministering spirits moving forth. And this is my official first... <clears throat> Facebook Live broadcast that I'm broadcasting from a new studio build. But get ready, friends, because in the next week to two, this place is going to be wonderful and beautiful. Amen. But I wanted to talk to you today. It's 2 to 2. So like I said, in a couple of hours, I'll be at church, open up at the World Coast of Mesa. The Spirit of God visited us so beautifully and bountifully. So I knew that we needed to have more of an extended worship prayer service just to press in because of what's going on with the Asbury revival and even all across the earth. And then later tonight, I have a red eye flight over to Florida. So I will be ministering in Orlando Sanford Friday and Saturday. So we would love to see you. Amen. I would love to see you. If you're into Orlando Sanford, Lake Mary, if 
you're in the Florida area, come and see me, my friends. Friends, I want you to tag somebody. Give us some hearts and likes because one of your favorite prof prophetic voices, Dr. Ben Lim, I'm in the house. I'm in his house. In fact, I'm in the new house. It's God's house. And there's a lot of building and a building out that we're doing. So keep me and keep us in prayer. If you want to sow into that and partner with us, that'd be great. And yes, it was just my birthday. So thank you, everybody, for all of your love, all of your salutations, all of your seeds, your gifts, your birthday wishes. I love all of you. I appreciate all of you. But uh, I really feel uh, such an urgency uh, as I'm hit 32. I feel an urgency. I feel a severity. I just feel a fresh focus. I want to say focus. I feel a fresh focus and a sense of awakening and revival in my own life today. And I just sense uh, that this, this is gonna be a big year for all of us. Not just for me, but for all of us. And I wanna prophesy that this will be the best year of your life. If you believe it, say amen. Now friends, thank you for all of your birthday wishes and love and gifts, prayers once again. But I'm here in my new studio, lots to build up, lots to build out, with a carpet guy coming, electrical guy coming, got the studio guy coming, got the plumber guy coming. I mean, got a lot of folks coming to build up and to set up what God wants to do here. Can I get an amen? But from this place, there's gonna be greater glory, ministry, the preaching of the gospel, media, social media production that's gonna to go to the ends of the earth. So thank you for all of your love prayers. If you wanna partner with us and sow into that, <clears throat> I want you to say amen. Praise God. And Providence Alana, if you could just put the link tree link to sow, and you could even sow a birthday seed. And if you do so, you could comment birthday gift in your seed in whatever electronic way you're gonna give. Or if, if you wanna sow towards uh, the build up and the build out because there's new equipment we need to buy. There's a lot of things that we need to set up. So, and I'm not doing a big fundraiser or anything or making a big announcement. It is what it is, right? Uh, so if you wanna be a part of that, please go for it. And maybe, maybe I should do a big thing and have your name as one of the big donors in a brick in the wall or have a plaque on the wall. So maybe I should do that. That'd be kind of cool. So, but anyways, Providence Alana, if you could just give the, the giving link to do that so people can give either for my birthday or for the studio. If you want to give specific for the studio, just comment studio. Amen. In, uh, in your seed. But today is 222. And let me tell you, February, February is one of God's most favorite months. Shout out. It is one of God. And I, sorry, I just got distracted because I saw the comment here from Kelly Black. Kelly Black writes, Pastor Ben, I have already had the best healing this year. Thanks to you for coming to Grand Junction, Colorado. Amen. God bless you, Kelly. Wow. God bless you, Kelly. Love you and God bless you. And truly, uh, <clears throat> maybe you saw the video that I posted a couple days ago. She had MS, multiple sclerosis for 25 years, completely healed. Amen. God is good. So praise God for that. Providence Alana, where are you? Why are you not posting the link? Come on, guys. Or Providence Ivana, somebody, please. So I could pin it. So I can move on to what I want to say. And Melissa, we missed you for 7M today. Where have you been, my friend? Hello there. Indonesia in the house. Prophet Daniel McCormick, good to see you. Hello there, Mary, 818, good to see you. We haven't even met face to face yet, but I've been healed a lot watching you always. Thank you, Dana Elizabeth. Hello there from the Philippines, God bless you. You know what? I think I have the link tree to give. It's somewhere here. There it is. And of course, my laptop is now freezing. The devil is a liar. Alabama in the house. I want to talk about the suddenlies of God. The suddenlies. Because everything in your life is about to shift, switch, and change very soon. Things are moving very quickly. And everything in your life is about to shift. Now, today's 222, 
You may be watching this video later on. It may be February 23rd for you already. But I want to prophesy as a man of God that today there's divine alignment. And even by the end of this month, hear me now, in the next week, my goodness, in the next week, the Spirit of God is going to move. So I'm sorry, guys. I'm looking at all the comments. Like Christian is saying, still no heart palpitation. My heart has been completely healed. Come on, somebody. God is so good. And all these miracles just happened literally last week. Claudine Carrillo, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Grand Junction coming in hot today. Show me some love. By the way, I do love Grand Junction. Y'all know I'm waiting for that house for the Lord to give me in Grand Junction. <laughs> in fact, we need properties and offices everywhere in the mighty name of Jesus. I don't know why this is, it, it is annoying me right now. There's too much glory on this. Thank you, Alana. It only took about a year. So listen, friends, if you want to sow a birthday seed or you want to sow a seed for the studio, just as you give, uh, comment in the notes, whether Cash App, PayPal, Venmo, Tithely, studio, or birthday. And I just thank all of you in advance. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Love you. Wow, my friends. All right, time to focus. Because, and this is kind of like the suddenlies of God right now. What's going on? Shut up. But I want to talk about the suddenlies of God. Because we're in a season of suddenlies. And I want to prophesy over you. In the next seven days, hear me now. In the next seven days, everything in your life is going to change. We are now in the new Hebrew month of Adar. And of course, on Monday, I'm going to talk about the prophetic word of the month for March. But we are in a new Hebrew month and everything's shifting, everything's changing. And I believe there are winds of change, winds of revival, and there is angels that are on the move and on assignment. So everything in your life is about to change. So I want to talk about suddenlies. Because suddenly, you're going to go from broke to blessed. Suddenly, you're going to go from empty to filled. Suddenly, you're going to go from depressed to happy. Suddenly, you're going to go from oppressed to whole, suddenly, I want you to say suddenly. So this is a season of suddenlies. And in this month of February, which is a prophetic month, it's a month of revival, it's a month of love. It's a month where many prophets have gone home to be with the Lord. So it's a month of prophetic glory. So I wanna prophesy that even in the next seven days, your life is gonna change. Everything in your life is gonna shift for the better. Not for the worse, but for the better. From glory to glory to glory to glory. Now, if you're with me today, say amen. Now, I want you to give us some hearts and likes. Share this on your wall. Tag somebody. Because I want to talk about the spirit of suddenlies. Because this is 222. This is a very prophetic day. A very important day. And I believe in divine alignment. Now, where do we get the understanding of 222? Okay, of course, Isaiah 22, 22. Right? So it is a day of Isaiah 22, 22. The Bible says, I will place upon his shoulders the key of David. He will have authority to open up uh, doors that have been closed and to shut doors that have been opened. So the key of David. So I believe God's releasing keys. Everyone say keys. Keys of favor. Keys of blessing. Keys of breakthrough. Keys of miracles. Keys of healing. And I prophesy now that even today, you are a key person. So God is releasing keys. And what does a key do? A key gives you access. Say access. A key gives you access. And a key uh, gives you authority. Because if you are a key holder, that means that you have authority. Somebody say, I, I've got the power. So when you hold a key, it means you have access. But it also means you have authority. But catch this. Keys also stand for alignment. And what does alignment mean? Alignment means synchronization. Synchronization means suddenly. Your chronos is colliding head on. It's having a head on collision with your kairos. Your chronos. Your chronological. Your chronological timeline, time frame is coming to a head on collision with your kairos. So we are in a Cairo season right now, which is alignment. So having keys stand for alignment. 
access, authority, and alignment. Can I get an amen? So today on 222, as you are coming on this broadcast, the same grace that's on my life for alignment, for access, for authority, for the anointing of God, the same grace that's on my life for prophetic alignment, vision, and clarity is coming over you in the mighty name of Jesus. If you believe it, say amen. Give us some hearts and likes because I sense that God is giving you keys. I believe that God is opening up regions for you. God is opening up doors for you. God is opening up realms and portals, new levels and dimensions for you. Get ready for the dream realm, says God. Get ready for the miracle realm, says God. Because you are a key. Because you are a key person. Because you got the keys. Because you got the power. Because you sowed in the realm of worship and intimacy and surrender and sacrifice like David did. Therefore, you can't have the key of David. You can't have the key, the frequency of worship, the sound that will open up doors. Because who here knows that there's breakthrough in your mouth. There's breakthrough in your sound. There's breakthrough in your words. Come on, somebody. And today on 222, on February 22nd, I declare and I decree there's prophetic alignment coming to your life. There is prophetic synchronization. Things are coming into your Kairos. You're stepping into your Kairos season, your Kairos moment. Get ready for your suddenly, says God, because this is a day of suddenlies. And even now in the spirit, mantles are coming down. Impartation, scroll and anoint you. Come on. Who's ready to catch this right now? Many of you need to open up your heart and your spirit by faith through grace to catch, to receive it about what the Lord is pouring out and what the Lord is doing. I'm telling you, friends, even as I am here in my new studio, in this warehouse, in this office space, and this is the first Facebook Live broadcast, I'm releasing, reporting to you from this space. I'm telling you, God is moving you. God is shifting. There's change, great change, great movement. Get ready to ride the winds of revival and get ready for the suddenlies of God to overtake you in the name of Jesus. Suddenly, we stepped into this warehouse and suddenly we're building it out now. Suddenly, someone say suddenly. Now, I want to go to a verse here. Of course, I talked about Isaiah 22, 22. Because that stands for the anointing that's on this day. And I want you to think about this. There, <clears throat> there's a new anointing every moment. But every day, there's a new realm. Which means that there is a special anointing for this special day. For this specific day. Are you going to celebrate your birthday every day? No, you're not. So this is a day of a specific anointing called Isaiah 22, 22. The key of David is upon his shoulders to open up the doors that have been shut and to shut doors that have been opened. Now I declare right now, God is opening up doors for you. Come on, somebody. If you receive it, say amen. I said, I declare right now, God is opening up doors of favor, promotion, ideas, revelation. Ibaba, today on 222, is it significant is there a coincidence or is there a significance or is it insignificant that today is February 22, 222? Come on, somebody. The Lord is lining things up. Come on. I prophesy. God is lining things up for you. There is divine alignment coming to you and to your life. God is lining things up for you today in the name of Jesus. And even in the next seven days, as we are about to end this month of February, get ready for miracles, signs, and wonders. If you believe it, say amen. In the next seven days. Because seven days, we're going to be in March. And you get ready for the prophetic word that I have, by the grace of God, to release over March. Because in the month of March, the man of God, the body, the body of Christ shall march forward. In the month of March. If you believe it, say amen. So get ready for that broadcast, which is going to be on Monday. But friends, I want to talk to you about the spirit of suddenlies. Because this is a suddenly season. And here in Isaiah 43, 48, excuse me, 48 verse 3. Isaiah 48 verse 3. And if you're with me today, say amen. Shatarabaka, glory to God. Isaiah 48 verse 3. The former things I declare of old. <clears throat> the former things I declared of old. They went out from my mouth and I announced them and they pray against any lag, my friends. And I announced them. Then suddenly I did them 
and they came to pass. Let's read that again. The former things I declared of old. They went out from my mouth. So this is God speaking. God is saying, I did all these wonderful things in the past. And I announced them. Then suddenly I did them. Get ready for God to suddenly move on your behalf. Get ready for God to suddenly move. And it shall come to pass. If you receive it right now, I want you to say amen. Come on, I want you to receive it right now. Because as soon as the word comes from his mouth, it suddenly comes to pass. <clears throat> now, I believe right now we are in the days of suddenlies. We are in the days of acceleration. I believe that 100%. And I believe this year, everything about you is going to change. But today I'm talking about the spirit of suddenlies on 222 on a prophetic day, the prophetic alignment of February 22nd. Because this is a day of suddenlies. And I believe God is saying, get ready for sudden revival. <clears throat> get ready for sudden revival, for sudden glory, sudden invitations, sudden open doors. You will suddenly receive your healing. Like Kelly, she was bound to MS multiple scrolls for 25 years. She suddenly received her healing in that meeting in Grand Junction last week in the name of Jesus. You're suddenly going to receive and it's going to come to pass. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now I want you to ask yourself. I want you to ask yourself. As you remember the former things. Do you get discouraged or do you become encouraged? Because the Lord is saying as I bring it to my remembrance. Now I will suddenly move. Now this is the power of meditation. I want to say preach, Dr. Ben. This is the power of meditation. This is the power of prayer. Because when you meditate, you regurgitate. When you meditate, you ruminate. When you meditate, you sit on the word and you let it brew and brew and boil and boil until you get the full final uh substance from it like a goat or like a sheep or like a cow you chew the curd over and over and over in your mouth until you get everything you can from that substance chew somebody say hallelujah Rabba, ba, 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 sata. so why is this important because the bible says isaiah 48 verse 3 wow i declared of the former things from the past it went out from my mouth. I announced them and suddenly they came to pass. It's the power of do it again. It's the power of testimony. It's the power of remembrance and meditation. Someone say amen. So whatever you think on will become reality. Whether it's good or bad. You think about the bad things. Trauma, drama, demons, evil. You think about the negativity and boom. That comes to pass. It's not the power of positivity or the power of, of attraction. No, it's the power of faith. And here the Bible says, you foretold of the past. And as soon as I left your mouth, as soon, it suddenly came to pass. Now, once again, backtrack. Meditation, rumination, regurgitation, Remembrance and prayer. It's an art. It's a spiritual art, a spiritual discipline. Irabata. And that causes you to cause it to come to pass. Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. So whatever you meditate on, you will manifest. As a man thinketh in his heart, so he will be. So whatever bubbles up from your belly will spew out of your mouth. And that will suddenly come to pass. Now I want to talk to you because God is dealing with the spirit of delay and the spirit of apathy right now. Friends, there's no time to waste. Shaka Baba. God is moving quickly. God is moving quickly. I say this all the time. God is moving quickly, but God is not in a rush. What does that mean? God is not frantically 
anxiously doing something with fear. No, no, no. But he's in, in a, a hurry because that's how he is. He moves fast. Day one, boom. Day two, boom. Day three, let there be light. Boom, boom, boom. It's like that. Instant. Immediately, they were all healed. So today, I believe on 222 that there is a realm where God is saying, get ready for your suddenly. Suddenly, my friends. And I know many of us, we did 21 days of fasting, prayer, consecration. So it kind of felt slow. January felt slow. What's going on? Waiting in the waters, pressing in. Yielding to God, waiting upon, and then all of a sudden, boom, February, the month of prophecy, the month of the prophets, the month of love, where Bob Jones, Paul Kane, John Paul Jackson of the Kansas City Prophets all went home to be with the Lord this month. Billy Graham, hallelujah, Catherine Coleman, T.L. Osborne. This is a month of love, of Enoch encounters, where God is catching his people, his body up into the clouds and into the glory. But as this month began, we had the Asbury Revival, <clears throat> and it's still going. Revival fires are stirring, spreading. There's an expectation, a sense of hunger, and awakening everywhere. So encouraging to see all across social media what's happening. But get ready for your suddenly, because many people will miss it. Many people will miss out on their suddenly moments. You think it's going to take five years, it's going to take five months. You think it's going to take one year, it's going to take one week. You think it's going to take three, four years, it's going to take God much sooner. Can a nation be born again in a day? Can a nation be born again in a day? And I believe God is saying, speak it and watch it come to pass. Declare it and watch it come. Build it. And it will come. The fire of God. Fire of God. Fire, 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 fire. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Somebody shout fire. This is a season of suddenlies. And I believe right now, friends, the atmosphere is so ripe. There's so much goodness and glory. So much of the power of God present right now. That suddenly... Your promotion, your miracle, your healing, your salvation. That prayer is coming to pass. Suddenly, suddenly, suddenly. Remember in the upper room, Acts chapter 2. For 10 days, there were 500 people gathered. But after, as the days went by, only 120 was left. On the day the fire of God, the promise of the Father, fell in that upper room. Now, friends, many will not make it. Many will not catch it. They will give up, throw in their towel. They will give in, make excuses. Oh, it's taking too long. I'm tired of waiting. I don't, I don't want to wait no more. I've lost faith. I've lost my patience. Now I'm getting distracted by another lover, by another word from God. Now I'm getting distracted. How great is your attention span? Or do you get easily distracted and discouraged by the enemy? <clears throat> but on day 10, bam, the fire of God fell on day 10. Jesus, Choo. <sighs> the fire of God fell, my goodness. Hallelujah. And the fire of God fell. And many missed it. And I don't know about you, but I do not want to miss a thing. I do not want to miss out on what God's doing. So we must position ourselves for revival. We must structure ourselves to not be too busy, to not be too controlled. Yes, you can have nine to five job. Yes, you can be a father and a mother. Yes, you can have responsibility. Everybody has responsibilities. But you need to get on the glory train and the glory wave before it's too late. Because there is a facet of glory and an opportunity of experience that you can miss out if you're not there. 
Somebody say amen. Now, let's go to another verse here. Glory to God. Second Chronicles 29, 36. If you receive it today, say amen. If you receive it today, give us some hearts and likes. Share this on your wall. Because I believe God is doing a quick work all across the earth. Amen. Hallelujah. Second Chronicles 29, 36. And King Hezekiah <clears throat> and all the people rejoice. Say rejoice. Because God had provided for the people. For the thing came about suddenly. I want you to say suddenly. For the thing came up, the provision, the breakthrough, the blessing, the miracle. It came about suddenly. Therefore, the people rejoiced that God had prepared for them a table. God had prepared provision for the people. I'm telling you, God is not a cheap God. He's not a, a lacking God. He doesn't sleep nor slumber. He's a God of abundance. And he is somebody who has prepared a plethora of tables for you. That's why when we get in line with God, boom, it happens quickly. That's why we need to repent, 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 for the kingdom is at hand. Now, I want you to stretch out your hand. How close is your hand to your face? Slap your face. How close is your hand to your face? That's how close everything is in the kingdom. Everything you need in the Lord, in the Holy Ghost, is that close, is at hand. So literally that phrase means at hand, you can literally grab it. It's yours. It's in your possession. You can literally reach out for it and take it. Whatever you need, suddenly it's yours. Somebody say hallelujah. Now that word suddenly in the Hebrew, that word suddenly is pithom. I want to say pithom, okay? That word suddenly is pithom. And what that word pithom or suddenly, what that means is, is a suddenness. Very interesting. A suddenness. <clears throat> Thank you, Lord. Is a suddenness. It means a wink of the eyes, a wink of the moment, a wink of the eyes, and a wink of the moment. So, at a, the blink of your eye, it will change. That's why in the New Testament it says, at the blink of an eye, everything will change. Our bodies will be transformed into a new body at the wink of an eye, at the blink of an eye. Pithom. Suddenness. 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 The horses and chariots are prepared for battle, but the battle belongs to the Lord. Be prepared in and out of season as a good evangelist to preach the gospel. So it's time for suddenlies. And the words of God are going to come to pass. Now, how do you, how do you live in the realm of suddenlies? Well, suddenlies is kairos. It means you are in divine alignment. <clears throat> you are in the will of God. And when you're in a suddenly moment, it's unbelievable. Wow. That's right. Somebody write, wow. When you are in a suddenly moment or when you are in the realm of suddenlies, it's a pinch me, am I dreaming type of moment. And isn't that how we should always be living? Where every mundane thing is actually miraculous. Where every common thing is actually uncommon. So get ready for a pinch me, am I dreaming moment. Get ready for suddenlies to catch your life and to surprise you. My goodness. I want to prophesy. God 
is preparing a sneak attack. He's preparing a surprise. God is preparing a surprise sneak attack. Someone say hallelujah. And it will suddenly come to pass. All right. So suddenly, today on 222, on this very prophetic day, there's alignment. Amen. So what does a suddenly of God mean? Number one, it means you are in divine alignment. You are in Kairos. To be in or to experience the suddenlies of God, it means number one, you are in divine alignment and you are in a Kairos. Good to see you, Mama Brenda. Love you. Number two, the second thing that the suddenlies of God mean, it means that the time is now. Now. Now is the time. Stop putting it off. Oh, I can read my Bible later. Oh, I can pray later. Oh, I can do this. No, now is the time. Now. Kairos, the time is now. So number one, divine alignment. Number two, Kairos, the time is now. Amen. The third thing that the suddenlies of God mean, the third thing, it means that there is an ease and a grace. I want to say ease and grace. When you are in a suddenly moment or you're living in the realm of suddenlies, there is an ease and a grace. You don't need to stress it. You don't need to uh, move in the flesh. It's literally like God is behind it and you would literally have to be blind to miss how abundantly and lavishly God is pouring himself out within this moment or within the situation. It's literally like God is dangling a carrot in front of you or God is dangling a gazillion dollar check right in front of you. There's an ease and a grace. So when you are in a suddenly moment or in a suddenly season, there's an ease and a grace. If you're with me today, someone say amen. Number four, the fourth thing that a suddenly moment or a spirit of suddenlies, what that stands for is that it means that there is provision. Someone say, preach Dr. Ben. When you are in a suddenly moment or a suddenly season, that means that there is a door within a door or a wheel within a wheel. That means there is provision for you there. Look at Elijah. The prophet Elijah was hungry and suddenly he met the widow and there was provision there. And that piece of bread, that piece of cake opened up a realm of provision. Some say hallelujah. Look at the story of Elijah. He was hungry, depressed in the cave. And by the way, if some of you are depressed, it's probably because you need to eat some food. Can I get an amen? It doesn't mean you emotionally eat where you're an emotionally binge eater, all right? But anyways, you eat the word of God. The prophet Elijah was depressed in the cave. He was hungry. And suddenly God sent ravens to feed the prophets. There was a realm of provision. So whenever you are in a suddenly moment or in a suddenly season, where the spirit of suddenlies is moving over your life. It means that God is opening a door within a door, a relationship within a relationship. That person will introduce you to somebody else. And that means God is opening up the spirit of provision over your life. Now, friends, I'm going to talk about the fifth, the fifth thing that a suddenly spirit moment season will represent. But help me to break the 200 mark today, amen? In fact, help me to break 222. You already know I've been a little absent from Facebook and the algorithms of the Communist Party of Facebook has been changing a lot of things. Amen, but the wicked of the wealth belong to the righteous. Therefore, we use these platforms for the glory of God, amen. And by the way, these platforms, they will come crumbling down very soon. But help me to get at least 222. Since we're talking about 222 in the spirit of suddenly today. So why don't you tag somebody, share this on your wall. If you're receiving, if you're being ministered to. Because right now, as you are tapping into this broadcast, you and I, we are in prophetic alignment synchronization and stepping into that realm. 
If you believe it, say amen. Now the fifth thing, number five, that the spirit of suddenlies and a season of suddenlies, what that represents, it represents the fear of the Lord. Now, whenever God causes a miracle to come to pass, everyone becomes perplexed. Their jaws drop, their eyes open. It is a, I just got the wind knocked out of me moment. Hold on, let me catch my breath. But whenever there's a suddenly moment where suddenly the blind see, suddenly the deaf hear, suddenly the lame walk, suddenly, shoo, it is a moment where the fear and the terror of God falls upon the people. Look at the life of Peter. When Yeshua called Peter, he said, come and follow me. Peter was in terror. Peter was afraid. He said, go away from me. I am an unclean man. I am an unholy man. And Yeshua Jesus said, come and follow me. Someone say amen. So whenever there is a true manifestation of the fire, the power, the glory of God. Whenever there is a true release of God's presence, that spirit of holiness, that convicting power, that convicting sense of God's awe comes in the room and you fall in love with Jesus over and over and over again. You fall in love with Jesus. Oh, Jesus. You fall deeper in love with God. Not God's blessings. Not the provision. But with God. Whether you bless me. Or whether you take away the blessing. I'm going to still love you even more. Whether I'm waiting or whether I'm walking in fulfillment, I will still bless you and love you and I will bless the Lord all the days of my life. Hallelujah. Today is 222 and there's prophetic alignment and fulfillment coming to pass, my friends. Get ready for suddenlies. Suddenly. Oh, suddenly. Rakata. It will come to pass in your life. Suddenly. Uh, wow, Lord, help me. Just pray in the Holy Ghost, friends. I feel like, wow, Rabba Satarada. Just sit on that. Meditate on that right now. Rabba Karababosa. Jacarabo Sotomata. Eriri Siri Amama Shita Rabratani Sadarabosha. Every hungry heart, every weary soul. Let the fire of God come upon them now. Ishkatarabrakata. Souls will be filled. Barns will be filled. Storehouses will be filled. Hearts will be filled. Every spirit of delay, discouragement, confusion, witchcraft is broken now. I break off the spirit of witchcraft, sabotage, Jezebel that has tried to distract, destroy, and to derail your destiny. I break it off now in the mighty name of Jesus. Get ready for prophetic alignment and get ready for the will of God to come to pass in your life. Suddenly, it shall come to pass. Somebody shout suddenly. Suddenly, it will come to pass in your life. And I prophesy over you. Today is a suddenly moment. In the next seven days, get ready for miracles as we are about to step into March 1st. But I prophesy, I declare and de decree as a man of God. In the next seven days, get ready for suddenlies. In fact, I need you to clap your hands with me. Get ready for suddenlies. Get ready for suddenlies. If you believe it, shout hallelujah. Choo. Zikarabab. In the next seven days, the fire of God is going to fall. Things are going to increase, manifest. Roka taba shata rabata in the next seven days up to March 1st. If you believe it and receive it, say amen. Give us some hearts and likes and shout hallelujah. Suddenly it will come to pass. Suddenly the glory of God will fall upon you. Suddenly. 
in the next seven days. That's right, Apostle Barbara. It's so funny, literally my phone was frozen, but suddenly now it's working again. Now I can see all your comments and all your hearts and likes and all of you watching. I had to look at my laptop on the left, but suddenly, in the mighty name of Jesus, fire, 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 fire of the Holy Ghost. Suddenly, someone say suddenly, and get ready for another move, another wave, another wind, another movement of the power and the presence of Jesus. Missy John Clark, you and Dana. Someone say suddenly. So I'm prophesying right now, friends. Today on 222, get ready for triple alignment. Triple Kairos. Isaiah 22, 22. Triple keys. <laughs> get ready for triple glory. And now from today, 222, all the way to March 1st, which is seven full days. Get ready for seven days of suddenlies, visitations. Seven days of sudden miracles to take place in your life. If you receive it, say amen. If you receive it, shout hallelujah. Come on, I need you to give me some hearts and lights and agree with the Lord, with the man of God, with the prophet of God in this moment right now. Because we're in seven days of glory, seven days of miracles, seven days, I believe, I feel, and I'm sure you could feel it too. Because as a man of God prophesies, and says it, it should be a confirmation with what the spirit is brewing, ruminating in your spirit. But now it's a confirmation. Amen. The next seven days. Hallelujah. Suddenly, someone say suddenly, 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 suddenly. So get ready for suddenlies, friends. Get ready for suddenlies. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Wow. Now I want to pray for you as I close, my friends. Because today, <laughs> it is 222. It is 222. And I believe in the next seven days, God's going to wow us. Get ready for dreams, visions, visitations, calls, connections, open doors. God's going to do something very special with you. Very significant with you. Now, isn't that interesting? That word suddenly in the Hebrew in the Old Testament, in the Hebrew it is pithom. Say pithom. Pithom. And what pithom means is the wink of an eye. Now, I just caught that revelation right now. Very interesting. When somebody winks, they are either a freak and very weird, stay away from them, or it's like they're being playful. <laughs> it's like they're being playful. Wow, I just got that right now. And so pithom means at the wink of an eye. There, it shall suddenly come to pass. At the wink of an eye. Get ready for God to wink his eye at you. Now, I don't think y'all are ready for this. Some of you are offended. I could feel it. That, literally, that's what the translation means. Pithom, suddenly. All right. At the wink of God's eye, it's going to come to pass. So get ready for God to wink his eye at you. Because he's literally, and we reach two to two, praise God. Because he's literally playfully, gleefully, cheekishly, because he's, God can be cheeky, you know, because he's Jehovah cheeky and Jehovah sneaky. He is gleefully, playfully in love, kind of like in a flirtatious way. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. He's winking his eye at you because he knows he has something great up his sleeve. He knows some great is He has some great. Oh, get ready to be shocked. Oh, get ready to be surprised. Get ready to be blown away. Get ready to be shocked by the awe of God. To be undone, to be blown away 
Ziba Karabra. You are so awesome, Lord. Thank you for that. Thank you for that word, Lord. You are awesome in this place, mighty God. You are awesome in this place, Abba Father. You are worthy of all praise, and to you our hands we raise. You are awesome in this place, mighty God. You are awesome in this place, mighty God. You are awesome in this place, Abba Father. You are worthy of all praise, and to you our lives we raise. You are awesome in this place, mighty God. You are awesome in this place, mighty God. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. Lord, I thank you for the glory of God. Touch your people right now. I ask you, Lord, that your fire, your power, your glory will come upon your people right now. I declare the veil is tearing. The veil is tearing. The veil of Moses. The veil in the Holy of Holies. It's torn. Get ready to enter through. <clears throat> get ready to enter in. Get ready to pass through. I hear God saying, get ready to enter in and to pass through. The door was closed, but suddenly it will be opened. God blocked the relationship, but suddenly it's going to be reconnected, reconciled, rekindled, reconciled. Something was closed, but suddenly it's coming back together. Some say hallelujah. If you receive this word today, say hallelujah. I prophesy on 222 February 22nd. There's divine alignment and there are keys that God's releasing and he is anointing you to be a key person, to be a key yourself. Someone say hallelujah. If you believe it, say amen. My goodness. Glory to God. Glory to God. Wow. Two, two, two. And even in the next seven days, watch what God does for you, friends. Watch what God does. Amen. Now, friends, listen. Tonight, I will be at Open Heavens World here in Orange County, California. And then tonight, I have a red-eye flight to Florida. So I'll be in Florida tomorrow for a friend's wedding. And then Friday, Saturday, I minister in Sanford, Lake Mary, Orlando, Florida. So if you're in Florida area, come and see me. Next week, I will be in Arizona. So come and see me in Arizona. Oh, I love Scottsdale. love Arizona. So next week, I'll be in Arizona. Glory to God. You can go to benlamglobal.com to see my full traveling schedule itinerary. Amen. But friends, in this moment right now, I want to open up a time for you to sow. For you to bless the name of the Lord. For you to bless the man of God. If you were blessed today, I want to open up a time for you to sow right now. I feel that it would be an injustice if I did not allow you to sow into this anointing and into this word today, praise God. But I feel the presence of the Lord, glory to God, and I want to give you an opportunity to sow, praise God. And like I said earlier, you can still give a birthday seed if you'd like, and you could just comment right in the notes of the different ways you give, birthday gift, or you could sew into our studio. I think I will set up a, a more official fund for our studio so we can get it all done in the next couple of weeks. But here we are in my, my new studio office space. There's a lot of work to do. We got the carpet guy coming. We got the electrical guy. We got the studio production guy. We got the plumber guy. All these guys coming. Amen. And out of the space, I'm telling you, lives are going to be changed forever. Lives will be changed forever. So friends, I want you to sow, and as you sow, whether a birthday gift or a, a specific gift for this, 
studio or whether it's for just this word. I want you to comment 222. Amen. I want you to comment 222. As you so, I'm telling you, the Holy Ghost is about to do something so supernatural. Even in the next seven days. In the next seven days, my friends. Glory. Yes, we have Venmo. You could go to the link tree. And, and if you click the link tree that's pinned, it will all be there. Hello there from New Zealand. I hope y'all are well with the floods that happened. Thank you for your prayers, Michelle. Hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. Remember, suddenlies of God releases the fear and the terror of God. It released the terror of God. Jesus. Jeka tarabrata tarabrata. Come on, two, 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 two. This is a day of prophetic alignment, of keys being released and restored to your life. Access, authority, and as well for alignment in your life. And as you sow, according to your faith, according to this word, Mary said, let it be, accord let it be to me according to your word. And if you believe in the word of the prophets and in this word that was released, preached today under the anointing of 222 on a special specific day, I want to say amen. Shout about, tap in, agree, and receive, and sow into this word and comment 222 as you do so. Like I said, if you want to give a birthday gift, you still can. You know, and just comment birthday in the notes. If you want to sew for the studio, just comment studio in the notes as you give electronically. Venmo, PayPal, Cash App, Tithely, Zelle. <laughs> or you could just sew into this anointing and this atmosphere. Amen. Two, 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 my friends. But about, I prophesy in the next seven days up to March 1st. Get ready for sudden leaves to invade your life. Suddenly. Jesus, if you receive it, say amen. Glory to God. Zabababase karabrata. Rabase karabrata ta. Jatarabata. If you enjoyed this broadcast, do share this. That is also a form of support and sowing. Share this broadcast. Give it a share. Give it a heart and a like. Amen, because there's a fresh anointing on this broadcast. I don't know if you can feel it. I don't know if it's the blue lights in my face, but there's a fresh anointing, fresh fire on this broadcast because it is the anointing of the season and it is the rhema spoken word. Glory. <laughs> Shoo. Also, you can subscribe to this Facebook page. Consider being a subscriber or a monthly donor to Bentley Ministries. Amen. Follow me on social media platforms, TikTok, uh, TikTok, not TikTok, TikTok, Instagram, uh, YouTube, Facebook. Glory. Thank you. Thank you. Melissa, we missed you today on 7M. We missed you the last few times. What's up, sister? That's right. The camels are coming, friends. The camels are coming. I don't know if you can feel it. I can feel it, baby. The camels are coming, my friends. Well, friends, I love you. I got to get going. I hope you receive today. Amen. Happy 222. Love you. And uh, wow, 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 wow. Get ready for the subtleties of God. Amen. God bless you, friends. I will see you soon. And uh, God bless.